Tell you the Olympics are over at uh, eight years from now. Will they be as fondly remembered as we recall the games of eight years ago in Turin, or was it Torino? And what happened then? Well, at least then Meredith Vieira didn't call the collapse of the murderous Soviet Union a bittersweet moment. On the other hand, at least Custis's dark glasses weren't rose-colored ones. No way to buff the image of the U.S. hockey team, which got blanked in the semis against Canada, but it was nice to see Maria Sharapova in spiked heels shoot the puck between the second and third periods of that game. The best thing about the Olympics is that despite the fear of a terrorism attack, no one died. Well, not in Sochi. Kiev was another story. I've never heard of Oshi before these Olympics, and I don't plan on hearing his name again until the Hawks play the Blues in the Stanley Cup playoffs. And Highland Park's very own Jason Brown had to have made, uh, well, Glencoe envious. But now it's on to baseball until the NFL draft, and will the Bears take a quarterback now that Josh McCown is rumored to have the Jets' interest? Yeah, the Bears' backup QB is more important than the Cubs and Sox combined. Well, this year anyway, if McCown leaves, his mark of Lester won't be tainted and he'll go down as the best Bears backup QB in team history. They can't retire his jersey number because the Bears have stopped retiring jerseys, but maybe in his honor, Filene's can retire a bridesmaid's dress. And kudos to Northwestern's Kane Coulter for trying to unionize Wildcat football players. Swallow. If the workers of the world a century ago had existed under conditions Kane Coulter endured, no one would have even bothered to create a Soviet Union whose collapse would have been a bittersweet moment. That is the Lobotomy Lotto Sports of Chit Chit Chat.